Happy Canada Day tribe for all those Canucks in the group. It's July 1st. We have a few more days before the next 28 day challenge begins. Day one's July 4th. Big day for our friends south of the border. And it's a great day to start fresh and begin this next 28 day phase of investing 30 minutes a day in ourselves. You guys know me as Coach Moose. Others know me as Di Manuel. To my kids, I'm known as dad, <laughs> but you can call me Moose, a great Canadian animal. Yes. So today I feel extra special <laughs> knowing that I get to celebrate with my fellow Canadians a big day. It's Canada Day. It's our day to, to remember what makes this country great. And with that, I want to keep this message really brief today. I want to give you a quick Canada Day workout for those that are either down south and for those north of the border and those in other parts of the world. Take some time, invest 1% of today, 15 minutes, into moving your body with purpose. Start to get ready as we prepare to finish up our baseline week and we move into week one of the next phase. By now, you should have also received the goal sheets Hopefully you filled those out. If you haven't, take a moment to do so. Post a goal that you have for yourself next phase, starting on Monday, what you'd like to see happen. It doesn't have to be massive. 1% change is incredible when you compound that out over time. So just think about small, little, incremental changes that you can make to your daily life. That's gonna impact your health, well-being, uh, fitness, you know, mindset, whatever. Focus on one area and let's make it a priority for you moving into this next 28 days. So for your workout today, I'm going to keep it really simple. 15 minutes of movement. It's an AMRAP style, which means as many reps or as many rounds as possible. One round is going to consist of 15 chair step ups, followed by 15 reverse lunges, followed by 15 squats. And then you're going to repeat it. Sounds spicy, right? Well, it should be. It's basically all legs. Really pay attention to your glutes. Okay, so if you haven't familiarized yourself with some of the documentation that I provide that talks about the warm up, how to get what's called your glute meds or, or your gluteus maximus, ultimately it's those muscles right around your sit bone uh, <laughs> that tends to not necessarily get recruited often enough. So if you find that you're encountering back issues or back problems or discomfort after sitting for long periods of time, well, it could just be that your butt's deconditioned. So we want to start waking those muscles up because the stronger your glutes are, the healthier your back will be. And to be honest, a lot of other movements just in regular life will feel that much better. Make sense? Hope so. Anyways. Happy Canada Day, enjoy the workout, post in the group, any comments, thoughts, or the like. And if you haven't taken advantage of the two for one on my ebook, what's holding you back? Pay it forward, guys, this is awesome. You know, anyways, I'm not gonna go into it. It's a great opportunity, I appreciate your support, and if you've gotten something out of the program in the past nine, or sorry, eight phases, hey, it's time to pay it forward and invite somebody else to join you on this next phase. Anyways, over and out. Have any questions, reach out anytime. I'm around. Bye, guys. Happy Canada Day.